Let's talk about Lake Tahoe's crystal clear water now, continuing to improve during the winter months, according to an annual report from UC Davis. The reporter covering El Dorado County, Shelby Riley, talked with researchers about how this past winter was the clearest the lake has seen in decades. So basically, the Clarity Restoration Plan for Tahoe is working. Jeff Cowan, Public Information Officer for the Tahoe Regional Planning Agency, says the Clarity Report from UC Davis for 2023 found that winter lake conditions were the clearest observed since 1983. It's the kind of trend that we've been seeing more and more is that winter clarity when you know there isn't a lot of uh, warmth and growth and activity in the lake as far as the biologic side of clarity um, this getting better. However, he says the summer months tell a much different story, marking the fifth murkiest on record. So the annual average is staying about flat, which is still kind of positive considering that from the 1970s to the 1990s, we were losing about a foot of clarity a year. Alex Forrest, interim director at the Tahoe Environmental Research Center, says when you look at 2022 versus 2023, not much has changed. Forrest says they look at the phytoplankton, which are the small microorganisms that live in the water. Their populations are shifting because they're having warmer temperatures so they can grow for longer and they can also grow denser. And so because of that, that's contributing to the overall clarity of the, of the lake. He says another factor during the 2022-2023 winter is the large snowpack we had that year. So there was quite a bit of runoff. That was carrying in a lot of particles, which contribute to the uh, which contribute to the decrease in clarity. Cowan and Forrest say the clarity is just one piece of the puzzle when measuring the health of the lake, which is why it's so important to help keep it clear. And definitely, anytime people come up to Tahoe, you know, we really need to be thinking about clean, drain, and dry watercraft so that we're not spreading aquatic invasive species and. You know, always take better care of the lake. You always leave the lake better than when you found it. And Forrest says the state of the lake report will come out sometime next week.